Welcome back to the Benning Report. The robotics revolution is here. Since 9-11, the Army has effectively employed thousands of flying robots like the Raven and the Predator and ground-based robots like the Talon and the Packbot. These modern marvels provide our troops with more situational awareness, greater lethality, and safety on the battlefield. In this edition of Live Fire, our Ron Andrus shows us an exciting new robot that may have a leg up on the competition, but certainly has potential for our troops in the field. Well, Jen, it just might be the stuff of science fiction. Machines that walk like animals and humans. I'm out at the McKenna Mount site where some incredible new technology is being tested and may be coming to a soldier near you. Some may say it's the rise of the machines. The engineers and scientists at Boston Dynamics call it Big Dog. It's a 220-pound technological wonder made of metal, wires, sensors, actuators, hydraulics, electronics, you name it and it looks and walks like, well, a big dog. People and animals can use their legs to go anywhere on Earth. So we want to make a robot vehicle that can go anywhere a foot soldier can go. There's big robots that can go out and do things that tanks do. And there's really small robots that can be used for IEDs, but there's no robot that can go where a foot soldier goes, helping him carry his load. Big Dog was born out of a DARPA-funded project called LS3, or the Legged Squad Support System. It's an effort to develop a walking platform which can accompany dismounted soldiers and increase their combat capability. They're pushing the envelope on what reality is as we know it. We know that wheels and tracks cannot go everywhere that a two-legged infantryman can go. We know that. And this kind of locomotion has the most likely uh, potential of being able to move wherever the infantryman moves. It's a quadruped, but it, it closely represents a biped, and so it could go where we could go. That always seems to be the limiting factor. A wheeled and track vehicles simply don't do well uh, off, you know, in the woods, in, in the mountains, in sand dune areas, all that types of stuff, and this is where wheels have big, uh, legs have big advantages. The promise of this technology lies in its potential to offload soldiers of the ever-increasing weight burden of combat gear, thus making infantry lighter, safer, and able to bring more firepower to the fight. There was an increase of 45 pounds in combat load from 1990 to 2003. So in 13 years, it went from an average of about 100 pounds to an average of about 145 pounds. If a kid's carrying a Winnebago on his back and he can't move very quickly and he comes under fire, if he can't move quickly enough, he could become a casualty. And you could draw the line directly to the fact that he wasn't mobile enough. It would make it a lot easier to carry all the gear that we transport. Uh, instead of carrying it all on your backs, if you can just throw it on this thing, it makes it a lot, a lot lighter for the soldier, move a lot further a lot faster. Creating a robot like Big Dog that can walk, balance, and interact with the physical environment autonomously is no easy feat, especially considering all the technologies that are used and have to work together smoothly to make it happen. The computing on a robot like this unlocks its capability. It actively balances itself when it's traveling on terrain. It actually feels the terrain with sensors in its legs so it knows how to adjust its posture as it's going. That's how it can climb up and down and work on, walk on rocky surfaces and things like that. Mother Nature is a pretty incredible model, right? I mean, we strive to get uh, the way that, that you can see and hear and interact with the world and balance and all these types of things. Uh, that alone is, is, is an ambitious goal. Future big dogs will follow troops into battle, carry their load, and even take a knee. And some people may even venture to say that they might even become a soldier's new best friend. When you talk about the behaviors, that they've come up with to make this machine work the way it works, that in my mind is revolutionary. This is one of those rare moments that you see something and when you've been around this sort of stuff enough, you suddenly realize this is a wake up call. Whether you're excited about it or not, walking robots are coming of age. These powerful tools will help our troops to be more effective and stay safer on the battlefields of tomorrow. What an incredible machine. When can we expect Big Dog or something like that to be fielded? Well, although it's amazing what it can do today, Big Dog's only about four years old. So there's still a few years of research and development before it'll walk onto any battlefield. Are there any plans to develop two-legged robots that look and walk like soldiers? Not officially, but you can bet with the pace at which this technology is moving, it won't be long before that happens. Well, we'll see what the future holds. Thanks, Ron. Straight ahead, though.